Good morning, afternoon. Welcome to the vlog. Nice rainy day, but rolling into Melbourne with the one and only Michael from the Indie Pack. Just riding it through Footscray, pretty oh, mud, pretty rainy day. Fucking water, as you can see. Mike's cruising along at about 22, 23k an hour. This is pretty windy, and it looks like it is going to absolutely park it down a queue. That's your rain. Docklands, my pool's here. He's looking good. Looking good? He's looking good? Yeah, he's looking good. So just as I left Mike, just back there at Docklands, he was, he was feeling pretty tired. He said he was feeling like a zombie, just always asleep. He's pretty open and been having a chat and me asking some questions, which is always good, but all the best to him, he's looking forward to the climbs. Fuck, I don't know how he's doing it on 25%, but good luck to him. And just as I left Mike, the rain stopped, of course, so hopefully a nice dry ride home, no well, rain, but the road is slippery as. And it's the first time I've actually been on these wheels with 23 mil tires in ages. I normally ride 25s, but as I was saying to one of the guys we were riding with, I'm glad I didn't pump, pump them all the way up because we'd be sliding everywhere, but still, it's very slippery. Mike Hall's machine is an absolutely unbelievable machine. A titanium bike, 80 mil Reynolds, wheels on there. Mate, he is an absolute gun and he's just ticking through it, so good on him. I might, I'm gonna see what time Sarah Hammond comes out. Try my best to ride out with her because that would be awesome. One of the guys was saying that with Chris off, there was about 40 guys riding in the city with him, so I'm a bit shattered I missed that, but that's all right, have work. Heading back to the office now and hopefully come out when Sarah's out. I mean, that would be awesome. She's absolutely dominating the field in the ladies and every single guy bar two. So yeah, it'd be great to see how she's going. I imagine she'd be just as tired as Mike. Mike looked wrecked, but he's in good spirits. And now when I say he looked wrecked, he looked wrecked sleep-wise. He didn't look wrecked physically or mentally, it's just he looked like he was sleep deprived. And I can see how that would happen racing across Australia. So great to see him, great to have a couple of chats. And the sun's come out for him now and he's really looking forward to queue. So Hopefully it's sunny with no tax. <laughs> because of the rain, I'm definitely going to need to clean the bike and I'm not happy about it at all. That is filthy. Glad I put the winter wheels on. Oh, bumpy. Because my carbons would not have been out of stop, eh? And I don't like to wreck them. And they're really nice wheels and I don't like to take them out in the rain. So I'm glad I put these ones on. But I have been having troubles with them recently with the Mavics. Typical French, hang on, speed bumps. Typical French. They over-engineer everything. And the pulls in the free hub are absolutely terrible. They just keep slipping. And I've given it a good clean three or four times now. But they still keep slipping, so I don't know 
if that's because they're about six years old and I haven't serviced them, or it's time for a new winter set. I'd like a new winter set. In other news this morning, I slammed my toe on the corner of a wall and I'm pretty sure it's broken. Every pedal absolutely kills. And it just feels swollen, painful, weak. But I can still bend it, so I don't think it is broken, but 50% of me is saying it's broken, 50% of me is saying it's not broken. So, hence the slow ride home. So I'm about 700 metres from home, the sun's coming out. So unless I get out and see Sarah tonight, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'll probably get out and see Sarah, but in case I don't, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thanks for tuning in. I'm gonna post all the videos and photos on Instagram of Mike Paul, so catch you tomorrow on the bike.